Well, I didn't notice that this was actually zero sugar Dream World Coca-Cola, but uh, got it yesterday at five below. Just decided to just get a drink. I didn't I didn't drink it at all. I was actually gonna drink it, but uh, I wasn't thirsty. I was thirsty at the time, but I after the after I uh, got it, I just stopped being thirsty for some other reason. So I just saved it. But I thought this was actually regular Dream World. But it's not. It's just the uh, zero sugar. So this is the last time drinking both of them or whatever. This is the last time drinking the uh, Coca-Cola Dream World. Uh, even though this is not the regular one. But anyway, it's the last time drinking it. So Because I wasn't really a big fan of this, to be honest. It was um, mediocre. It wasn't the best. Uh, I think this year Coca-Cola really hasn't made a lot of good flavors. I used to have this uh, orange vanilla Coca-Cola. It's actually pretty good. That was the one that was really good, actually. Still, this is still pretty good. I think this one's the best because it, it's not as sugary as the other one. But there's more of a flavor to it too. But still, I'm just not a big fan of this as I thought I was going to be. I tried three out of the uh, four that they came out with this year. Coca Cola Bite was actually one that they came out online with. Not too sure what their plans are next year for the new Coca-Colas, but this year it was just... Uh, this year it was a lot of the new ones. Usually Coca-Cola doesn't really come out with new flavors of their sodas, but I think they're trying to compete with Pepsi a little bit more, like Mountain Dew Pepsi. thing that Coca-Cola should bring back is Surge. That was really good. Anyway, this is pretty good, but it's not the best. I would, I would give it a, uh, on a scale rating of 1 to 10, I would give it a, a, uh, a 6. So, peace.